Hi, Zach. Hey, Alexis. Fancy seeing you here in, uh, well, art storage. So we came here on purpose. Yeah. No one can get in here, really. No. All right. <laughs> well, can you tell me a little bit about this painting, this sad gentleman? Absolutely. He does look very sad. So, That's what's drawing me in. So this is George Trapp. He worked in the Roman Haas chemical plant in Bridesburg, which is the neighborhood of Philadelphia. And he worked for 50 years in the oil of vitriol department at the factory. We might know oil of vitriol by its more common name, sulfuric acid. Oh my goodness, what? <laughs> yes. So, Mr. Sounds Chap unsafe. You might think that someone who gets a giant portrait painted of them is a famous chemist or an executive, but George was a blue collar worker. And this painting really highlights the labor and the different people that were involved in the work of science. So why does he make these paintings? Garrett Benneker was famous for uh, doing paintings of industrial workers. So Roman Haas actually hired Benneker to come to the plant in Bridesburg and paint portraits of the different employees. Whoa. And we know that this painting hung in the employee clubhouse. So what better way to motivate your employees right. than by getting a giant portrait of your oldest employee? It tells us a little bit more about the history of Philadelphia as a city. So if you think about all the different neighborhoods we have around here, like Kensington and Bridesburg and Maniunk, yeah, these all operated sort of as factory towns, even though they were little neighborhoods inside Philadelphia. So companies like Roman Haas invested a lot of resources into um, local health clinics, schools, social clubs, um, and this painting sort of speaks to that corporate paternalism in the early 20th century.